Welcome everybody. We're going to be telling you about William Shakespeare today. The man, the legend, the poet, the playwright. I hope you're interested. Get ready. Buckle up. William Shakespeare. A brief, brief biography. biography. Well, my name is Kuhn Zuidervaart. I'm 22 years old and with me I have... Rens voor Pell. I'm 19 years old and we're both aspiring to be uh, beautiful uh, English teachers. Great. So, what we want to do today is basically interest you students in William Shakespeare. We're going to give you some information about his life and uh, hopefully introduce you to English poetry. We hope you're going to enjoy this because we think it's quite interesting. Well, this is the man's early life. Um, he was born uh, in 1564. We're not quite sure the exact date on which he was born, but um, he was baptized um, on April 26th in, uh, in the same year. Uh, most children were baptized like two days after they were uh, were born, so we can safely assume that the man was born at around uh, 23rd of April. Uh, he was born in Stratford-upon-Avon in England. Um, he was the third of eight children, so it was a pretty big household. Um, and uh, he attended King's New School, where he studied grammar. Well. Uh, William Shakespeare is often known for his acting and writing, and he started doing that in London in 1592. Uh, he became the managing partner of Lord, Lord Chamberlain's men, uh, which were a company which performed in the Globe Theatre. And they were later renamed to the King's Men uh, when they became the Royal Performers, uh, Performance Group. And they only performed in the Globe of the theatre itself, which was built around 1599. It burned down in the fire of London in 1666, and uh, they later rebuilt, uh, not this exact theatre, but the Rose, quite near to the old side. Later on they actually rebuilt the Globe, and it is uh, currently open to visit in modern-day London. Yes. Uh, Shakespeare and his plays. Um, well, he's quite famous for his plays. His first plays were written in about uh, 1592, so uh, his first plays were mostly began with histories and comedies. Uh, histories meaning uh, King Henry, uh, all the King Henrys, uh, King John, King Richard, etc. Uh, comedies, uh, The Tempest is one of his most famous ones. Uh, they later became more uh, dramatic, more tragic, um, meaning they were becoming tragedies. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, uh, Hamlet, meaning to be or not to be, that is the question. Well, it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, etc., etc. Um, in total, the man wrote 37 plays, so it's quite a lot. Well, poetry is something that William Shakespeare is quite famous for as well. Uh, his least famous pieces of poetry are five long narrative poems, um, <coughs> but his most famous pieces are his sonnets. He published a total of 154 of them. And they all follow a certain rhyme, the A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G rhyme. And his most famous one is Sonnet 18, which is, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do to shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaf had all too short a date. Mostly they are about uh, romantic, about an unattainable woman who is very beautiful, but yeah, like I said, unattainable. Um, he is also called England's national poet because he is so famous and really put England on the map of poetry. His personal life. Um, the man uh, married Anne Hathaway. Uh, not the one we know today, but uh, the old one. Um, he, they were, uh, he was 18 years old. She was 26 year old. So 26 year old. Yes. Um, um, she was three months pregnant when they got married eventually, so they had three children. Um, we believe this is the main reason why they got married, if, because, I mean, around that time if you were pregnant and you weren't married... Um, that was not done. It was just not done. Um, yeah, they build a, they purchased the second largest house in Stratford, uh, which was quite weird because um, Shakespeare had a, uh, he had a home in London as well, so uh, he hopped around from place to place from, the, from between those two homes uh, to, to be with his children, we presume. And something interesting about Shakespeare as well it, are the last years. There was a period, of seven <coughs> years, between 1585 and 1592, where there are no records of him at all. There are multiple theories uh, about this. Uh, one of the, is that he was traveling the land, uh, getting more experience, which you can also see in his place. 
And another one is that he was just helping his family since it was only three years after the marriage. And um, yeah, there are multiple ones. Another one is also that he was hiding because he poached a deer on Sir Richard Lucy's land and poaching is a capital offence so he could be put to death for that. Another one was that he was an assistant schoolmaster at his old school possibly. And uh, another one is that Dieter Hall's assistant which is strange if you uh, think about what he later would become. The man's death. Um, he uh, he made a last will and testament uh, a month before he died. We're not quite sure how he died, but um, we assume he he must have known that he was going to die because uh, you just don't write a will months before you think. Anyway, um, well, he died on his birthday, so uh, the twenty third of April in sixteen sixteen. Uh, he's buried in Saint Trinity's Church, and. Uh, this you know, was possibly it, done on the 25th of April, not completely sure about yeah, that. Yeah, we're not completely sure. Um, the man himself, uh, he is presumed a myth in some circles. Uh, his name could be used to... Uh, to under, under a As a sort of alias for alias. other people, other writers. That he did not exist, but other writers used his name. Yes. And this was basically all we wanted to tell you about William Shakespeare. So welcome. This is the end. We hope you enjoyed this, and um, we hope that you do have a bit more information about William Shakespeare, why he was so important and so uh, famous for British poetry and plays and everything that he did. So we say goodbye to you, yeah, and goodbye. we hope to see you soon. In class.